I'm making money off of these people. I'm getting called in, making overtime up the ass because of these people that are in our state. But do I think that they are contributing to us these in people? a good way? Why, why do you I keep saying these people? Uh, look, at, look at how you just keep demonizing people oh and gross or generalizing. Do you notice how mentally ill people that own homes are not a problem to him? Mm -hmm. It's just the ones without. It's just the ones he has to look at because he views them as gross. All right, what is going on? What is your take? I would say that uh, I go to any blue zone, any Democrat city, and it's a hellscape. San Francisco, it's a hellscape. Los <laughs> Angeles, Denver, New York. These are stop. all long-term Democrats. Stop, zones. stop, 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 stop. No, no, hold on, Jaden, Jaden. Yeah. It's, wow. it's Ferrethead. Oh, of course it is. I thought he was familiar. Yeah, fair, it's fair to head. Mm, you've never yeah. been there. Ah, you found me out quick. It's fair to head. For those of out. you that don't know, uh, <clears throat> when, back when I was doing COVID debates before I joined How YouTube, you I can't do them anymore. So soon, I, I know. Stop Calm talking. for a second. I have to explain the lore here. Uh, ferret head, basically, we call him that because he was wearing like a what appeared to be a ferret on his head. I don't know. And. Uh, also, he's like wildly anti-vax, and the list goes on. And he, uh, he's all like he's like you know like in the spectrum of of crazy. He's like here. If he was like a little bit closer to sane, he'd be more fun to talk to. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Also, he lives in a bus. He does. He lives in a bus, which is fine. Mm -hmm. But he's a Canadian too, so he's not even part of our politics. Such a distinct Worse. voice. Anyway, should we talk yeah. to him? It's either him or no, Sean. We should. So. Come yeah, on, man. Give me a chance. Let's have a nah. debate. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, all right, Ferret Head. You guys can't debate me. Shh. Good all evening, right. gentlemen. Sup? All right, Sean, what are we debating? Uh, we get to that. Unions. Mm, nah, can we move on? We, we, no, wait, we no, might no, talk no, to wait. him. We might talk to him later, but not at this particular second. Hold on, hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. There's better debates. Yeah, Trust on. us on this. Hold on. I've had a, the, a co-worker of mine, a union member. She has voted against everything that the union votes for because she knows that layoffs are going to be coming from the corporation that we work for. Have they happened? Yes, they have. How much? What corporation? I, mean, I, I don't have the the numbers, but I mean, it, I, I see it around me. I see what it around corporation? me. What corporation? Say, uh, it's healthcare. It's healthcare. Yes. You think there's layoffs coming to healthcare? Yes. From yeah, corporations. Well, because these healthcare corporations are in competition with other healthcare corporations, it's no longer a contribution to society it's a business and these people are that work hard and are genuine in what they do are being laid off because we're not making money and whatever the policies are i don't know i'm sure maybe you can give me some facts can i ask you a question policy numbers yes go ahead were there layoffs in 2020 during the pandemic no yeah you know how much money hospitals lost no they they made a ton of money no, they didn't. Hospitals collectively lost tens of billions of dollars. I, I mean, made, the first year I made it was 150 billion dollars during the pandemic. I made, I myself I made I, thousands. I know. Hospitals, yeah, hospitals lost money. <clears throat> they lost a lot of money. They lost billions of dollars. How so? Because they had to spend out money for uh, acute care for COVID. Also, okay. moving travel nurses was expensive. A whole host of stuff. Well, they that's lost, because I that's think the original, travel. I think they lost 80 something billion. If I'm Remember, it was it was projected to be 150. They lost something like 80 billion dollars, something like that. Well, I work in California, and nurses, uh, unfor unfortunately, are fleeing the state of California. And where are and you getting that from? And, uh, what I see in my everyday work, Do you the, have any stats? The, the amount of travel nurses that are there, the turnover rate that I see. Do you have any the people that I work with? No, I don't have any factual numbers. I don't have any statistics well a number of them are but i older. see what i see right that's a number of them know. are and older and are retiring also, sooner no <laughs> no these are people that I'm are here. fed up with what they are dealing with in their everyday life and are fleeing to other what states. are they why, why, most why of are this they is so pandemic related why are they so sensitive it's such a weak argument to be like california is such a horrible place to <laughs> live california's great in fact they're going because back of the weather month. what because there's sunshine that's the only benefit to california what, no, it's not. No. That's great. 
I'm paying a no. weather tax. I pay a weather tax. A weather tax? I live in, yeah. You pay a weather tax? Well, there's also I pay a weather policy. tax. I pay to live in California policy. because it's That's absolute crazy. garbage. Jaden, I didn't know they had this taxes the first in Crazy I've Town. Heard of this. That's wild. Which part of California are you? That's the unseen Which tax part of California that you are you? And that's the unseen hey, tax that you Sean. don't. Hey, Sean. Which and, part of California are you? I'm about 40 minutes from Los Angeles. Southern California. I'm in Long Beach. Okay. Okay, so we're not that oh, far Oh, Long off. Beach is great. About an hour. Long Beach is fantastic. Oh, Long Beach is so good. It smells so nice. Out in oh, downtown. it's this beautiful. Weather. I was just, I actually just went there. What's it like? Shoreline Village or something? Yeah, no, it's, oh, it's yeah. gorgeous. The Pike. It's a great place. Yeah, Barker's great. Lighthouse. Great place to eat. Right, I don't know why I'll you're show complaining. You all around. I why are you trashing it? Outside of my apartment right now, and I see a homeless encampment. Oh my God, that's so terrible. Yeah, that people Newsom live just places. got rid of those. Yeah, uh, no, I can't no, believe he didn't. that. He, he, that's Newsom, so wild Newsom to me that people has live places. States to, uh, or excuse me, Newsom has encouraged cities and counties to remove the the encampments, or else they won't get. Uh, funding anymore, but this, this it's just how right. soft they are is so wild to me. I think this is they're... can you see? Yeah. cool? Uh, I, I just it's so wild to me these pedantic things that they're upset about. They're like uh, homeless people. I will leave a state for, but uh, abortion well, rights the, getting the taken away. Hey, I'm it's sorry. Was I hey hold on a second? Illness. Excuse me for a second. Stop for a second. Was I done talking? No, I didn't think so. I don't think I was done talking. I think I barely talked at all. In fact, during this conversation. Uh, it's the mental illness. So then shouldn't you be advocating for mental illness instead of just demonizing wholesale homeless people? That's a bit wild. It's why it's it's crazy to me that like the elevated gun violence, the the taking away of rights, the putting the Ten Commandments in schools, none of that bothers them. But if they walk outside and see the fact that there's this that there's a homeless person, blame California, don't blame corporations for buying up the houses don't blame the state of america for making it impossible for people to buy homes and for don't to blame live. poorer states for busing them right. over here do you have any idea what you just did and he doesn't even realize he did it he's in the medical field just blamed homeless people or just blamed mentally ill people for being mentally ill isn't that wild and like they don't calculate this. They don't calculate it. Just they're like blaming <laughs> mental illness. When they, so I don't want this to derail. I will not talk about this in this debate. But like when they blame the trans community, like they're mentally ill. It's like why are you attacking the mentally ill community then? Right? They just don't think about this shit because they don't right. care because they're cruel humans. Oh well, well, I care. I go into work every day and I take care of mentally I ill care. people every single day. And then you blame them when you look at them you outside your window. Them? And I'll then you demonize them when you, and day. then you demonize no, 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 them no, no, when no. you see them outside of their, I'm outside like of your window. Yeah, I'm making money. I'm making money off of these people. I'm getting called in, making overtime up the ass because of these people that are in our state. But do I think that they are contributing to us these in people? a good way? Why, why do you I keep saying these people? Uh, look at look at how you just keep demonizing people oh and worse or generalizing. Well. I mean, I, do you not think I there are people that own? Home? Wait, 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 wait. Listen, stop talking. Stop. Work every stop. Day. I go. You're muted. Do you notice how mentally ill people that own homes are not a problem to him? Mm -hmm. It's just the ones without. It's just the ones he has to look at because he views them as gross. <sighs> it really makes me question why you went into nursing in the first place. I know. Just demonize people as you're walking. I don't understand that logic. I'm just having a hard time deciding if I want to unmute this guy or not. <clears throat> I don't like the sound of his voice. We got three in the box. Yeah, I don't. I don't like the demonization of the homeless. We're gonna go. We're gonna move on. Oh, nerdy's here. Do we want to let her in real nerdy? quick? Um, yeah, yeah this could but be fun. Yeah, the guy's just gonna talk over her. So probably. Hi. Hey. What's up, nerdy? How are you guys? Hi, nerdy. Eh. You want to you give your credentials so that everybody knows what's going on? Sure. So I am a licensed clinical social worker who works exclusively with the unhoused population. Uh, I supervise several teams of folks who provide services to individuals who are unhoused and chronically homeless. Um, either, you know, folks who are unhoused in the community or folks who have been unhoused and are now currently housed or folks who are in a uh, shelter, these folks also experience um, 
trimorbidities. So that's going to be folks with uh, medical, mental health, and substance use concerns. So the highest acuity folks in, uh, you know, kind of services that we provide. Um, also working with folks who have uh, HIV, working with veterans, and uh, working with pregnant individuals. And um, would love to talk to Sean about um, why he's discussing, or I guess, um, gloating about the fact that, that he gets overtime from having to serve people who are um, experiencing mental health concerns as if that's a good thing. Hey guys, if you are enjoying the show, make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And if you want to support the channel, you guys can become a YouTube member on this channel or preferably join the Patreon in the link tree in the bio. Also in the link tree is my TikTok, Instagram, Twitch, and the OK Hi YouTube, which I post news to on a regular basis. Enjoy the rest of the show. Well, I'm, first of all, I'm not gloating. I'd, I would much rather be at home, you know, spending time with my girlfriend and not being paid large, uh, you know, large amounts of money to be taking care of these people when clearly there's other alternatives to this. I'm being paid large sums of money to take care of people that should be taken care of elsewhere. That like should be taken care of in other manners. Like if you want them taken care of, just you don't want to be the one to do it. No, I love it. Uh, otherwise, no, why would I be doing what I'm doing? I show up to then work. Why are every you complaining day. about it? Why, because, <laughs> because there's better alternatives. Why are you complaining about? Like what? Why what are, are the you complaining about the, uh, the state Excuse of the me. state? Excuse me. Everything. I'm not. Why I'm are not. You I love my state. Anything, you don't. Because you want to make things I'm not. better. I'm not. That's but why what I'm is your alternative? Because I want to make things better. Sean, what is your alternative? What is the better outcome here? Well, if I had an alternative, maybe I should be in Congress. Maybe I should be a politician. Oh my God. I don't know. Yeah. Is anybody else Sean, would you so you like have no alternative and are just bitching no, just to but bitch. I know there needs to be an alternative. That this, yeah. what, what that we look have like? now is not working. That's what I'm oh trying my to God. say. Oh, God. That's why I asked Yeah, you I know, because it, probably because of people like you demonizing homeless people to this and degree, I show dude. up to work every day. I don't demonize them. I get compliments every day. I Just love the people that I treat. House. I so love you the understand? people that I treat. I want you to listen for but a second. I don't do you understand? I don't, I Please should. stop. Silence. Please stop. Stop. Thank you. Uh, I want to talk about fanaticism since you work in mental health to some degree. You should probably do some searching on fanaticism because essentially what you've done is attribute in this gross generalized way. You've taken homeless. You've assumed that it's uh, disgusting and gross and you've linked it to homelessness. And you've almost certainly internally linked it to crime. And as a result, you end up in a situation you are now where you've said something. And then instead of just doing the normal things like, wow, I didn't think of it like that. You're right. I should reevaluate. You're doubling, tripling, quadrupling down on this show. And now you're on a monologue trying to recorrect. And I think the appropriate thing for you to do, the right thing for you to do would just be to admit that you might need to do some soul searching on this. You won't, because I know your type, but that's what you should do. I'll be honest, what I'm hearing is is somebody who um, enjoys the attention that they get for saying that they, they help people with mental illness or who are homeless. Not true. Well, you've spent a great deal of time talking about um, how you get compliments and how good you are at it all the while saying, oh, yeah, California is great. I'm looking out my window right now, and there's a homeless encampment. Well, so hasn't as somebody Governor who's also Newsom, been talking about, as, excuse Democratic. me, as somebody who's also been talking about uh, how, you know, nurses are struggling and they're leaving the state, you realize that most of us are also one paycheck away from being in those homeless camps, correct? Because that's a majority of, of why folks are, are unhoused. Oh, it's, yes. Two, it's not, it's one not bad being, day away. Me, excuse I'm me, one bad excuse day me, away. Excuse me. I said you're one paycheck away, not one bad day away. But many people are one bad day away. Um, as um, Tommy said so astutely, that um, there are plenty of people who experience mental health concerns who are housed, but we don't see it because they have four walls and a roof. And typically they have a support system where they have uh, they can seek refuge. But for people who are unhoused, they don't have that privilege. Everybody in the world and all the people around them get to see when they're having you know, a psychotic episode or they're responding to auditory visual hallucinations or they're experiencing substance use because 
housed people also use substances at relatively the same rates. Of course, people who are unhoused do tend to use at higher rates. But, you know, majority of unhoused people are not experiencing mental health and substance use concerns. You can check that out if you would like to. You can fact check me. Um, there's actually something called a point in time count that uh, HUD does. Each uh, city and county does this every year or every other year. And housing and urban development has the results of this pit count where, you know, and I've participated in pit counts where we will ask people and we will assess if they are experiencing medical, mental health or substance use concerns. Majority of homeless people do not experience those things. And in fact, majority of people who are unhoused who do have substance use concerns develop those substance use concerns after they have become unhoused as a way to cope with their lack of permanent housing or as a way to treat their mental health symptoms because oftentimes the medications that they are prescribed are extremely sedating and have severe side effects and they're not able to complete ADLs or take care of themselves. A lot of so my big clients pharma. Being, Maybe we, ooh, a lot big, of that's, big pharma brought you're, into you're, the you're struggling. You're struggling you're struggling with impulse control and it's really concerning as somebody who works in healthcare. Right? Mm. Yes. It's concerning. bringing in big pharma. Yes. Good point. Yes. I believe a lot of people that are unhoused are prescribed meds that keep them kick in a place that don't, uh, you know, that doesn't allow them to, pr you know, progress. That's and a lot true. of people that are unhoused don't even want to progress. They're happy. That's they're content. That's not true either. They're that's not true. That's not true. That's not yeah, true at so, all. Yeah. So Sean, I am going to interrupt you because the information that you are spreading as a healthcare professional, I take personally because it's offensive. Yeah. So I'd like for you to show me a source that most unhoused people don't want to get better. Yeah. This is just wildly, it's not just, it's not even un, in, unappro inappropriate at this point. It's you're, you're, you're Considering that 15% of the unhoused population uh, are veterans and that uh, women and AFAB people are more likely to um, experience domestic violence and as a result experience being unhoused, um, the LGBTQ plus community significantly higher rates of un uh, houselessness uh, youth. Uh, in my uh, nearby city, we saw an increase in youth homelessness by 20% which is massive. That was, you know, an increase of, of dozens and close to a hundred unhoused youth. So these to... are the most vulnerable people. I'm sorry, Tommy, go ahead. No, you're okay. Um, I, I just want to point out, this is probably, if you were a nurse, which I think you're probably not, um, this is sanctionable conduct. You're aware, right? They, you're aware, Sean? Just want to point that out. I don't think you're a nurse. I think you're lying. Uh, I think you probably like mop the floors or something there. And No, I, 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 I I've spoken to you guys before. I'm a nuclear medicine tech. I make m exponentially more than a nurse. Okay. I t when nurses come to me I and social workers, I inform them of what I'm going to do. See ya. Oh, my God. <laughs> your cab came. As you're right. Tony Polisi here. Thank you for the kick. Uh, Marshall, appreciate it for the kick. Said, as an ICU nurse, I'm disgusted. Yeah, uh, Marshall, appreciate it. Thank you. <clears throat> I uh, I was in the camp of I'm nauseating was the word I would give. That, that type of rhetoric is unfortunately very common when it comes to unhoused people. And it's actually really dangerous. This is why... Um, over the last uh, several years, essentially since um, Trump became president, we've actually been tracking the number of <coughs> attacks on um, housing encampments across Texas. And we've seen a significant increase to the point where, um, trigger warning, because this is really sad and horrible. Um, one of the biggest things that, pe that you know, people who are housed like to commit on, on unhoused folks is arson. So mm -hmm. they like to um, you know, throw <coughs> lit things at camps and um, we've been tracking several individuals who have unfortunately passed due to arson-related attacks by um, housed citizens across Texas, which is one of the most hostile states to right. unhoused people. Right. And, and I just want to clarify this before we move on. Uh, it's absolutely horrifying. But I wanted to make this point because I've made this point earlier when it came to the, the minimum wage debate. Um, this is part and parcel of what is known as class collaboration, 
right? This idea that you have a social hierarchy, you have a social hierarchy, and you have to demonize people below you to keep them in their place. And all it does is reaffirm the positioning of billionaires in America. Um, it's gross. And it just, you know, it's devoid of logic. It is uh, people of middle class, upper middle class, even many people that are lower class, advocating for the position that people suffer you know and it's really easy to demonize people because from a fascistic standpoint at least from the understanding of you know fascism and how it works and operates a, that's the thing is that you have to keep that social hierarchy if you're not producing what they view as valuable labor you're not worth anything in society and this is the same logic that led to the uh, nazi party uh killing seventy thousand. Uh, disabled people and targeting right. people that, you know, could not take care of themselves or elderly people or people that were whatever, right? This is the same logic. It's the same. There's This is the same end goal. It starts with demonization. It start Then it goes to dehumanization. And before you know it, full-blown, uh, full-blown genocide. It's despicable. It's despicable. Like, this isn't a failure of the people that are, that, that, that don't have a house. This is a failure of our system, right? They blame Venezuela. Do you think like, like just I'll finish off on here. Do you think people in Venezuela, they go, Venezuela is so bad. It's terrible. It's a communist country, whatever. Does any of them blame the people in Venezuela for why they're doing so poorly? No, because they understand in that instance, it's a structural failure, right? They mm -hmm. ignore that though, because it doesn't benefit their point if they don't. <sighs> Well, Tommy, I will uh, drop. I just want to come up for that discussion because, um, yeah, healthcare professionals who treat patients like that and who have those thoughts, just um, across the board, please don't be in healthcare. Just don't. Um, we are bursting at the seams right now in terms of, of how stressed we are, and we don't need colleagues who behave like that or who talk about patients and clients like that. So please just, you can find another field that's a lot less stressful and more profitable. Please do. We, we, we don't. Yeah, I want you here. Yeah, off. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, guys. Uh, hope you all have a good night. All right, take her nerdy. All right, you too, nerdy. <laughs>